Got one for you. A last minute one. Don't even know all the notes. time finding the rest of the notes but anyways just wanted to play that for my family it's for the holidays Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory the name of the song is pure imagination that was one of the beautifulest songs I've ever heard uh, mr. Wilder sing yes beautiful voice beautiful eyes beautiful person from what I could see you know in the movies but he played a character that was uh, that had a twist yeah mr willy wonka was crazy <laughs> hey yeah Billy, mr willy wonka was my kind of guy i i have a personality like that you know when you think about him he kind of reminds you of he was dressed sort of like Gede or byron sam day and you know they use a lot of the loas characteristics and and you know and, and, and their character in the movies. And it just dawned on me right this moment that he looked, he dressed a lot like Gad Day. He sure did. With the pants and the, and the, and the, and the, and the old 1800s jacket and the high top hat. Yeah. He was dressed like Gad Day. It was really tricky. He was really tricky and conny. And he, he, he wasn't a nice person to the little children. He really wasn't. Read the book, okay? <laughs> the book was kind of kinky, too. The snozberries taste like snozberries. Yes, you know, y'all know what a snozberry is. And the uh, author of the book, and I can't think of his name, but I tell you what, I'm going to come back and talk about the author of the book because they said that the author of the book, they see it, they see it, you know, it was stated, I can't say for sure, that he was a, um, he, I don't want to, I'm not going to even get in this mess. But anyways, but this, you, you, check out what he meant about the snozberries, okay? <laughs> he was kinky, yeah. <laughs> and it shouldn't have been a children's book, not at all, okay? I really enjoyed y'all, okay? Come back, see mama again. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Bye-bye.